Hello everyone, Matthew97657 here, and today we are back with yet another figure unboxing and review. And as the title suggests, this is going to be the limited Bandai Movie Monster Series Burning Hedora, I believe this is what we're calling it, which was shown off on the Godzilla Fest livestream back on Godzilla's birthday, November 3rd, on the official Godzilla YouTube channel. This figure was available to be purchased at the Hedora 50th Exhibition Museum that they have going on for, obviously, his 50th anniversary of the film. And um, uh, it was in Japan, or still is in Japan, but uh, luckily I was able to buy mine off of Yahoo Japan using the proxy service of Bai. So with that, there's nothing more to it than to get on right on into it. So let's go ahead and see what our Hedora has in store for us. And so as you see, I'm wearing the 50th anniversary shirt just to kind of, you know, get some last celebration hits off for the 50th anniversary of the movie. They kind of went wild this year, honestly, especially coming from uh, the idea of not a lot of people liking Godzilla vs. Adora, at least when Godzilla wasn't as popular as it is now. It's definitely come a long way, which is, you know, something really cool to see. But we're gonna, sorry, it's really loud, but it's a lot of tape. Okay. Look at that, huh? We're gonna set that to the side there. And then more tape, but this time we're gonna go ahead and cut in. And it looks like we have already reached our area of, of destination. Okay, so that should be the box open. I can already kind of see a glimpse of the color there. But as we go, I'm gonna go ahead and show off, you know, the display before I get to see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I wanna say that's it. There's a little bit more of our packaging there. And that's it. So ready? Three, two, and one. So just that. Looks like we got nothing else for today, but boom, there it is. This is the, like I said, Bandai Movie Monster Series Limited Burning Hedora from the Exhibition Museum in Japan. So we're gonna go ahead and slide our protective sleeve off and get a good look at that guy, huh? It almost looks like lava or like magma, if you will. Really curious on why they went with this type of color route on Hedora, as I can't recall this being some sort of like secret shot in the film or anything i mean it's kind of a reach if you want to say he was when he was getting fried by the um the electrocution um you could try and do that maybe i don't i don't really know i don't even know if there even is an explanation for this but just look at the translucency on the colors it looks very very nice doesn't it kind of get all colors it's kind of got some metallic gold on that little piece here and overall just like a almost like a sunset orange mixed in with some darker highlights of like gold and some red as well so we're gonna go ahead and get a look at the tag so this there it is burning hedora and then as you see the 50th uh exhibition as it says probably in japanese um with the 50th anniversary little stamp for hedora the japanese text from the tag and then lastly the movie tag got delivered to the door and then bandai movie monster series so yeah let's go ahead and get yet again another overhaul look at the figure there just look at the eyes it looks like what white no it looks like it's just part of the uh the plastic even though it does have like a silvery type of like like shine to it even though i don't think there's paint on there and then it's got red the eyes over on the black pupil and then on the top of the head we have this like gold, right? Kind of like a goldish with some darker highlights on the ends of it. And then some more orange around the whole body as well. And as you see, right, we have this shade of orange and then it gets darker right in here around the chest and same within the arms as well. So a uh, very cool detail, right? And I'm sure it looks amazing with like light flowing through it and whatever, but um, we have both light sources here. So this is pretty much as bright as I can get for now. But as you see on the knees here, it kind of gets a little darker. You kind of get some more like of a brownish uh, shade for that. I'm trying to show off all possible angles here. But yeah, 
It looks very nice though, I can't lie. I think the color is very unique, the way they wanted to go with this. And um, as we see on the back, right, we saw the head, so orange, and then it kind of comes back, right? The shading with the brown comes back a little bit, a little bit more orange. And then on the center piece of this back part, it's like almost like a goldish metallic color surrounded by shades of brown and then orange as well. And as you can see, it continues down here with the shades of the darker colors of brown and a little bit of a, not red, I think I misspoke there, but brown and like orange still. And it goes all the way throughout the tail as well, as we can see there. But yeah, that is our Burning Hedora Bandai figure. Pretty cool, right? Uh, I think whenever I saw this on the Godzilla Fest, me and my friend were watching it, and I was always afraid because they had like three or four different like merchandise segments. And I was afraid that they were going to show something new off. And I was like, oh, no, no, no. Right. <laughs> and lo and behold, this guy got shown off. And I was like, I screamed. I was like, no, because um, this is actually the final, uh, for now at least, uh, limited Bandai modern movie monster series figure that I need for the collection. So uh, I'm going to give myself a little bit of a round of applause because it's been quite... A stressful event for that but it's still pretty cool to have i know when i said no it was like it sounded like bad but it was just kind of like dang i gotta hunt more now huh but yeah that is our burning hedora there we're gonna go ahead and get on with the comparisons we're gonna go ahead and get on with this old uh bandai hedora that i have um back when i got into g-fest i believe this was like one of the older releases from like oh five oh six oh six yes oh six so I think it's pretty much the same mold, but as you see, it's kind of like one and two, right? You can see like uh, the, the suit accurate colors versus this burning coloration that was made for this exhibition event. Pretty nice. And then we're going to go ahead and get off the only Showa Bandai figure I have, which is from the Godzilla's Revenge, um, Godzilla 50's Memorial Box, I believe. So, I know it's probably not the fairest comparison, but this is really what I have for now, so please bear with me on that. Both in the six-inch scale. And then lastly... I'm going to do the comparison with the other Hedorah figure that came out this year for the 50th anniversary, which was the retro color version. So same mold, just different paint apps. And as you can see, right, the color differentiation between the two. Come on now. Look at that, that color looks really nice on the back there. And yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the review portion. So if you're gonna just watch in the video for the review, feel free to click off and thank you for watching the Burning Hedora figure that we have unboxed today. And if you're here to stick around for the news portion of the video, thank you for sticking around and listening to me ramble a little bit. But like I said, this is pretty much it for the modern Bandai Movie Monster Series line. It is, I think, I've caught up on it for the limited line. I pretty much got everything you can get. The only thing I don't have is the City on the Edge of Battle Mechagodzilla, but I'm not even sure if we want to count that. But um, this is it. Like, literally, this is it. So, wow, what a journey, right? Wow. But, yeah, I mean, here's to more being made in the future. I know Gigan's 50th is coming up in the year of 2022. So we'll see if they make any uh, limited figures for Gigan or maybe Godzilla or Angiris or maybe even a Showa Ghidorah Bandai model. So, I mean, who knows what the future has in store for us for the Bandai line. But other than that, um, SH Monster Arts did reveal fully their uh, Hedorah and their um, Final Wars Godzilla, which is uh, 
been in the making, right? A lot of people are wanting that suit as SH Monster Arts figure. So it's really cool to see that guy coming in the SH line. So those two will be definite pickups for myself. Look out for those videos in the far future um, whenever this gets uploaded, if you are one of the first to watch it. Look forward to that. Uh, very, very happy and good stuff there. So um, not to complain at any point. There's those two. X Plus still hasn't uh, dropped the Godzilla 2021 uh, North American website orders. Uh, I know they have it in Japan, but they have yet to drop it here. So I'm kind of waiting on that to, you know, secure it. Unfortunately, Awesome Collector hasn't gotten any either. So I'm kind of like in this little limbo zone, but hopefully I'll be able to get it soon enough, right? Uh, definitely we'll be getting that guy. So look forward to that one as well. But other than that, I cannot think of anything else. If you want me to go down the run line, we have Godzilla Ultima coming out in hopefully December, along with Gigan coming out. Uh, or coming in in December, uh, we have Mecha Godzilla 2021 coming out in January. Special Color Ghidorah from King of the Monsters in February. March, I think, is a clean month. There's nothing there. Maybe SA. No, that's May. Um, and then I don't know what month Hadora comes out, but I heard that in Japan at least, uh, Final Wars comes out in. April, I believe. I may be incorrect on that, so bear with me if I'm if I'm wrong. But I want to say April, and then for sure Jet Jaguar in May. So that's the SHMA line release, and then I believe the Defo Real Godzilla 2021 will be coming out in February. So look forward to that as well. And I think that's all I have on the review plan. I mean, whenever stuff comes in that's new, expect me to upload it right away because I know y'all guys are wanting to view those videos, kind of like this guy here. They don't want to waste any time and plus because you know it looks really cool so uh very very happy on that front but with that that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video here so uh once again if you made it to the very end uh to all the new subscribers that have joined thank you so much it really does mean a lot um there's nothing changing here it's going to be pretty much the same stuff that i've been doing you know unboxing and reviewing giving my perspectives so if you're enjoying that uh feel free to you know subscribe and let me know how you feel about the videos, if there's anything I can improve upon. That's very, very helpful. But other than that, like I said, that will be about it for now. I shall see you guys in other videos, but this is going to be the most modern video as of right now. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'll guys see you. Oh, I'll guys see you. Really, Matthew? I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.